right guys, today I'd like to talk a little bit about going into a mixed media piece that you've already made. You're not too happy with it, or maybe you just want to change a few things. So with this piece, it's a combination of pencil, Sharpie, I think. No paint on it yet, but we're about to get it wet with some paint. There we go. And I think I said in my last video, when you get to working on something like this, you know, where do you stop? I think you stop, really, when you get tired of working on it and you look at it and you go, you know what? That's finished. Sometimes it comes to you a little better than that. I know some artists, they'll actually work with a mirror and this would be more so when you're doing portraits and landscapes. But work with a mirror and uh, set the mirror up opposite the easel with the painting on it. And look at the painting in the mirror. This gives you the opportunity to look at your composition, your brush strokes, you know, what you've done already in a different light. Maybe see it the way other people see it you know, and see if there's things that you think look kind of wonky that you don't like. You know, if there's things that you've done that you really feel that you should go back in and do differently. And you can see what I'm doing here. I've taken gesso. I've gone over the painting with gesso. I'm going in now with Conte Crayon. And I'm just doing some different line work that I like. You can do whatever it is that you enjoy. I think I heard it said once that style is not only a combination of your skill and what you like, but also of your limitations. That is, you can push and push yourself, but then when you find something that you're comfortable with, Sometimes that's what you stick with, and that becomes a style for you. I know Gerhard Richter, he has maybe three or four different styles that he has worked in at any given time. And personally, I think I would like to be more like Gerhard Richter than to be somebody limited to only one style that you're known for. You know, you look at an artist, he's deceased now, but like H.R. Giger. H.R. Giger is known for biomechanoids. That's all he really did that he was famous for. You know, he did the creature effects and set designs for the movie Alien by Ridley Scott back in the 1970s. And he stuck with that style, really, for the rest of his life. He did some bright color work, I think, but still, if you said H.R. Giger, most people would say biomechanoids are aliens. You know, you say Gerhard Richter, and people think wavy photographic like paintings they think starscapes they think these bright think of these bright canvases that have been scraped with a long blade so that all the color comes out and you can see through layers of it when you see a Gerhardt Richter painting you know it might be one of two or three different things you know and people are comfortable with all the different styles you know, displaying them, talking about them. You know, Gerhardt's making money. That's great. I don't know. I think I'd like to be more like Gerhardt Richter than H.R. Giger. Don't limit me to one thing. You know, do some different things. You guys know Bob Ross? I'm sure you know Bob Ross. The happy painter, happy clouds, happy little trees. You know, Bob Ross did that one style for what, 20, 30 years? That's great. You know, you walk in any hotel in America though, and you have a legion of followers of Bob Ross who have painted paintings just like that, that now decorate the living rooms, garages, and hotels of America. You know, I'm sharing art making with you folks in the hopes that you'll make your own art. Make it original. Don't make art like I'm making. Make your own thing. 
Most people look at what I'm doing anyway and say, that's ugly. You know, make your own art. I was making art since I was two years old. I've got some drawings from when I was a little bitty baby. And yes, I went to art school, but I went late. I went when I was 35 years old. I took three years to put together a portfolio before I ever went to art school. I worked for 17 years as a graphic designer before I ever thought about art school. Started painting portraits and landscapes from life when I was about 29, 30 years old. Just got a wild hair one day and decided, you know what? I'm gonna to go to art school. I'm gonna try and identify the best art school in the country, and that's where I'm gonna apply. And I'm gonna see if I can get them to find me some scholarship money so I can go there. And that's what I did, folks. They got me six grants and scholarships. I went for three years to get a four-year degree, and I graduated from the School of the Art Institute of Chicago with a bachelor's degree in painting, drawing, and sculpture. Well, I think I'm done with this particular painting, drawing, mixed media piece. Thank you for watching. If I have time, I'll do another one today and try and get it uploaded. If I don't, I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend and I'll see you next time.